Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss new Fate Core of FC Legger. So notice Fate Core Chance, Priestess of the Moonlight Legger Recruit. So this is going to drop after the update tomorrow up to December 31st, 2020. And your main hero here, as you can see in the picture, is FC Legger. So you can, you can recruit hero plus Fate Core with a higher probability than, than premium recruitment. This is, I think, 0.7% chance to get her um, for the for her banner. So if you can look at her design. So again, the design team <laughs> is on point as usual. And even her ears have grown. So long ears, bunny ears. Okay. So let's move on to her Fate Core ability. So... Um, there are additions to her stats, so attack 65, defense 54, health 288, and uh, combat power is 10,800. So for her skills, let's move on. So most of her skills are from her original form. So um, it's first aid 2, grants heal 100% of attack to an ally if they take damage and their health falls below 20%. So gains mana, 1 mana if own health is at 20% or less when triggered so shelter investigator 6 decreases damage by 200% against monomos without element barrier so this part belongs to her original form and for her FC um, this includes now dimension leap so increases it's, it's a mark increases dodge for of, for self by 40 and attack by 1000 when attack and all dimension, all dimension leap mark on self are removed after successful dodge stacks up to four times. So let's go towards her her skills. So first uh, is her S1. So you have Moonlight of Resurrection. Heals all allies by 17% of own maximum health, which is an increase from 14% with her original form. Cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects on all allies. Revives all dead allies as well. So for her S2, you have Moon of Wrath. You have deals 178% damage to all enemies. And heals all allies by 34% of own maximum health when the skill hits. In, uh, cleanse all debuffs and damage over time effects from heal targets. So if you can see for her S2 and S1, um, the damage output increases and the heal output increases as well. Two things. There are only two reasons why you should recruit for her. Is number one, if you don't have Lepin, FC Lepin, you definitely should recruit for FC Legger because um, if you're looking for a, a hero that has revive, I think we only have four in the game. Namely, number one is um, FC Lepin. Number two is Kirina. Or, or sorry, it's Karin. So she is number two. Number three is Cybel. And number four would be FC Legger. So if you don't have Lepin, the best or second best um, reviver that you can get is her. So I would suggest you grab or recruit for her. Um, while she has her banner up. The second um, reason why you should recruit for her because she is of light element and we have a we have a shortage of good light element heroes in the game. But if you have already FC Lepin, there's no really need to recruit for her um, unless if you really want her, what do you call this, her FC. Um, her revive all dead allies is actually in her S1, which actually costs only three mana, um, and it's also a burst skill. So you take note of that for her S1. And for but and for Moon of Wrath for her S2 it requires five mana. So her S1 is actually pretty much very good. Um, I think with with her and the Lepin, um, it's really a toss up of on, on which you want to who you want to to carry. But for her, um, she gives you a quick revive. You don't have to reach five mana to revive um, your team members. You only have to reach three to revive um, team members or or all allies that are dead. Okay, 
So she's also a good addition to your light hero collection. So again, as I've said, it's uh, your fate core chance increase is at 0.7%. So if you want to pity her, you have to recruit or have um, at least nine core, 19 core mileages are required to, to guarantee to guarantee a a a fate core from Legger. And as usual, for her fate core, you have her exclusive weapon, which is Waving Moon. Again, I won't really recommend um, you getting this. I, I would rather you spend your zest on on getting Legger herself, her FC, or if you don't if you aren't going to get Legger, stay save it up for the next FC which is FC Talia, and she is a gold fate core. So again, it's also a 0.7% for her exclusive weapon, which is not really good. So that is all for FC Legger. Um, she's one of, I think, the top two. There are only four. Um, try to get her, try to summon for her, uh, because she would be a great improvement to your team if you don't have somebody who is a good reviver. Um, also, she's a good addition to your light light heroes because some challenges require um, light heroes only or light and darkness heroes. I highly suggest FC Legger for you guys out there who don't have a reviver. So that is it for me. Um, if you want updated content for EXO Heroes, please support and subscribe to my channel. For comments, suggestions, please write it down below. And um, you, all, you all have a Merry Christmas. This is The Warden, and I'm out.